Police have charged a man over the New Year's Eve death at Wedge Island. The 23-year-old faced court this morning, prompting an emotional message from his father. Outside court, this from the father of the man accused of murdering James Dorloff. A deep as heart felt sympathy. We don't know the full circumstances yet, but when we do, uh, it'll all come out in the wash. Um, until then, please, just leave our family alone. Grief too from friends of the victim. We were loved by a lot of people and they all wished that this didn't happen, but it did and we'll all pull through it together. Growing up in Bindoon together, Katie Rosa knew 20-year-old James Dorloff for most of his life. On New Year's Day, the tradesman was allegedly slashed across the throat with a machete and killed. He'd been celebrating with his friends at a beach party at Wedge Island when a fight erupted. Today, she remembered a larrikin. Pretty out there, pretty loud, yeah, pretty funny. Always came for a drink and always came for a good time. She also spoke on behalf of James Dorloff's best mate, Johnny Cady, who tried to revive the 20-year-old on the beach. James, Johnny loved you a lot and he will really, really miss you. <laughs> Overnight, major crime squad detectives arrested 23-year-old Joseph Houston from Swanview. He's charged with the murder of James Dorloff as well as intent to do grievous bodily harm. Joseph Houston made a brief court appearance this morning where he was remanded in custody on a seven-day hospital order for a mental health assessment. He'll face court again on January 9. James Dorloff's friends are planning a memorial on Wedge Island in the coming weeks. Andrew Nelson, Nine News.